and new challengers. He's Brad Gilmore, and I am Matt Topolsky for the row. And Brad, tonight, we are going to see one of those new champions, the new Texas champion, the Mysterious Q, defend his title in our main event against the cool Cameron Cole. Well, let's not forget Cameron Cole won that uh, number one contenders match in probably the most interesting ladder match in wrestling history, but he is the number one contender for the Texas championship. Cam's been on a great roll, but Mysterious Q, now that he has Aiden Cristiano in his rear view, he has recaptured that Texas championship. He does not want to let it go in his first defense. It's going to be a big main event in a new era here on the reality of wrestling and we're not going to waste any more time the row starts right now This week on the Reality of Wrestling, Ray Cantu and a member of La Familia, Vega. Well, look at that, though. You know, that's the one thing about Ray Cantu we got to really pay attention to. The man, although he was a professional referee for wrestling, he has a great amateur wrestling background. And you can see those amateur wrestling style maneuvers right there in the early going. Big night of action scheduled this week on the reality of wrestling. The mysterious Q, fresh off that huge victory, that historic victory in Summer of Champions, where he captured the reality of wrestling Texas Championship for the second time. Will defend that title against the number one contender, Cameron Cole, later on here tonight. Here we go. Oh, look at that nice arm drag takeover there by Red Cantu. But let's not forget, you know, Vega here, Matt Topolsky, is the more experienced in-ring competitor. Wrestling for several years here in Reality of Wrestling and has been under the tutelage of guys like Aiden Cristiano, Diego De La Cruz, and more. Well, and uh, to further agree with your point, this is one of Ray Cantu's first singles matches Wait, on, in the row. It's very impressive two, there. Oh. A roll through into a bridge, that amateur wrestling background coming into play. Uh-oh. Oh, inside cradle, cover here too! An inside cradle from Ray Cantu! Out of that suplex, nicely done, and now those forearms right to the kisser. Oh, and a response from Vega. I think, I think they call that a receipt, Matt Topolsky. Here we go. Nice reversal, and a nice spine, uh, almost a spine buster there. Spine buster, oh, leg cover here. Ray Cantu all over Vega here in the early moments of this matchup. You want to make an impact. This is how you do it. Oh, Diego De La Cruz 
His hands around the ankles of Ray Cantu getting involved. Well, Diego De La Cruz complaining to the official. He was all the way over there. He sounds like somebody to Williams. Lost through there. Oh, just close fist raining down on the former official, now pro wrestler Ray Cantu. Hooks the leg here, center of the ring. Vega, kick out at two. And here's the thing about Ray Cantu, Matt Topolsky, is this is just only his third match overall. Second singles match, and he's out there with a guy like, oh, with a guy like Vega, but here's what he's got to remember. He's got somebody on the outside, and he just learned that lesson the hard way. It would be the first time that Ray Cantu has the uh, deck stacked against him, if you will. You recall a few months ago when inside the middle of that ring he turned into the human suplex machine. Oh, missed the mark right there, and that's the veteran instincts of Vega on full display, getting out of dodge at the last moment. And you gotta wonder if he was just waiting for the right time to move out of the way, playing a little bit of possum and a backbreaker there to Ray Cantu. Ooh, a modified, a modified backbreaker out of a side suplex position. Rearranging the spine of Ray Cantu. Oh, and Vega just chopping the hell out of the former referee right now. And here we go. Into the corner, Ray Cantu with a counter match to Polskin. Oh, amateur wrestling maneuver again, man. Got that waist lock from behind. Now looking for a suplex. Reversal here from Vega. Right to the back of the hamstring. That's going to make it very hard to walk, very hard to run. Almost like a Charlie horse you're going to have to get over. Might take a couple minutes. you see Jonathan Vega in a match where he's physically dominating his competitor long term. He's definitely been doing it here, Brad, and now an abdominal stretch. Well, the last time we saw Vega was against Sean Studd. And we remember how that worked out. Not very well, but this time he's got the experience advantage and he is definitely utilizing that while he's also bending the rules a little bit. Abdominal stretch, Ray can't do that. Supposed to be, might have to give up here. This is new territory for Ray Cantu. Normally, he would be in a position where he's trying to stop someone from taking out of the rules like that. Big hip toss. And now Cantu, standing lariat in stereo. Uh-oh, drops the uh -oh. strips. Ray Cantu getting fired up here, Brad Gilmore. The straps are down, Matt Topolsky. Oh! oh! Flies into the corner there with that spear. Uh -oh. And now into a German oh! suplex for the bridge. Oh! Ashley Bull backstage here with the Diamonds Division champion, Hyun. Now, 
Congratulations are in order on successfully defending your title at Ladies Night Out 3. But I don't know if you've heard any of the rumors, but it's speculated that AQA is talking to Booker about getting another title shot. I'm sorry, what? What, what was that? AQA is trying to convince Booker to give her another title shot. Why? Why do I have to wrestle AQA again? How many times do I have to beat her? How many times do I have to prove that I'm the best diamond that we have? And I'm sick and I'm tired of the special treatment AQA is getting around here. How is she getting title shot after title shot after title shot? When I was a rookie, I didn't get those opportunities. No, not one bit. But for some reason, everything just keeps getting handed to her, handed to her, handed to her. I'm tired of it. But it's fine. I'm a fighting champion. And anyone that you put in the ring with me, I'm going to beat them. Actually, to prove a point, the next, the next person that gets in the ring with me, I'm just going to break their arm. How about that? Well, Matt Topolsky, there's Cam Cole getting ready for his big Texas championship. Oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. That's, that's Chad Skywalker. He's beating up Cameron Cole. Jumped it backstage. Of course, we know Skywalker is upset that Cameron Cole won that ladder match at the Summer of Champions. Sky thought he should have had it. And he hits him with a, with a weight right there in the midsection. May have broken his ribs there. Hey, what are you doing, dude? Get out of here. Come on, man. Get out of here. Get out of here. No! Yeah, it's mine. It's mine. It's my position. Play with me, huh? Try to pull these two men apart. Get out of here. Give me some space. Get away. Hold on. There's there's Kendrick Bartek. Strange bedfellow there, but Kendrick Bartek checking on Cameron Cole. What does this mean for our main event later on tonight? All right. Go ahead. For over 13 years, the King of Solar Screens has been an industry leader, and we proudly use 100% American-made products. Home of the $55 any size, any color solar screen. Well, what about arches? $55. What about circle? $55. What about rectangles? $55, $55, $55. Any size, any color, install free. The King of Solar Screens, on time, every time. Now, can you dig that, sucker? At Summer of Champions, something was stolen from me. I'm the champion of every single television in the world, and I should still be the champion of all television. But it's all right, it's all right, because soon, each and every one of you ugly, idiotic, stupid, teeth-missing people are gonna witness me capture it once again, because I am the number one contender. I am always the number one contender because it is my championship. The championship of every single television in Japan. Every single television in Austria. Every single television in California. Every single television in Maine. Every single television in Uganda. Every single television in China. Every single television. Oh, wait just a second. That's Clay Roberts. What is going on at the Polsky? What is he JJ, doing out here? JJ, look, I hear you, man. I really do. You're spitting you're spitting the rap as only you can. Talking about yourself as only you can. And you might you might be the former reality of wrestling television champion. But I don't know if you saw what happened when you were getting dropped on your head at Summer of Champions. But I beat four men in one night. And I think I might just deserve a shot at the television championship. 
And uh, I don't know about you, but we're standing in a wrestling ring. I say we fight for it. gotta fight you for Jack. I'm a champion of all television. You just some punk. I don't care if you be four men, 12 men, 25 men. I'm gonna pitch you flat in your back right now if you don't get out my face. Radio 610. It's the Booker Man, y'all. Booker team. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up, y'all? Huh? You know something? I was, excuse me, I was just backstage and I was listening. You guys got a great idea here. I'm looking for a number one contender. No, I'm looking for someone to come up in the ranks here in reality of wrestling. How about that? Right now, we have an opportunity. The question is, are you ready for that opportunity? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready for that opportunity? Yes, sir. I say right now, we have a match, and we see who comes up here in reality of wrestling, and we do it right now. <laughs> the winner of this match immediately see me in my office. Now can you dig that? Booyah. Well there he goes, the boss man came out and made the match official. He said whoever wins this match come immediately to my office. That must mean there's championship implications here, Matt. Well the winner of this matchup will be the number one contender for the reality of wrestling television championship and certainly you had stated as JJ Blake was on his way to the ring Brad that uh, he'll be the future champion so I'm sure you have little doubt in your mind that JJ Blake will be winning here this is a formality Matt Topolsky and I, and I applaud Booker T for doing it because he's being completely transparent with the decision-making process here in Reality of Wrestling. We know that J.J. Blake is the rightful number one contender, but it's a formality. It's a formality, a yes. tune-up match. Yes, it's a formality. Against Clay Roberts, the man who defeated Legion, the man who defeated four men in one night inside some sort of a warehouse or a lair or God knows where it was at. The man who put Sean Hendricks in a body bag, for God's sakes. Yeah, just a formality. Yeah, but Matt Tapolsky, let's be honest. Headlock takeover there by the formality. That wasn't a wrestling match. That was a fight. It was a fight. Had, against an entire group of people. This is a wrestling match. And there is no one better in this company at a wrestling match than the Dynamite of Well, let's compare JJ Summer of Champion performances. We've talked about Clay Roberts. Let's talk about J.J. Blake and the stellar five-star performance he put in at Summer of Champions. Look, it was I, fantastic, wasn't look, it? Any given Sunday, somebody can get beat. We learned that. Obviously, J.J. Blake was the overwhelming favorite, and this underdog, Van Harrison, came in, and he did what he did best. <laughs> underdog. Well, he's not, he was by the champion. I would think that he'd be the underdog, but I gotta give credit to Van Harrison. I think he's going to be a phenomenal television champion, and maybe have more championships to add to his resume here in the future. But right now, we're gonna find out who he's gonna face next. Series of arm drags here by Clay Roberts. Reversal by J.J. Blake. Skin and the cat right there. But another arm drag by Clay Roberts, who looks like a pretty good wrestler in his own right right now. Oh! Well, there you go. 
what about that? Everyone's got to plan Matt Topolsky until they get punched in the face. Oh! Rolls through here from Clay Roberts. Looked like a pin attempt. Into a drop kick. And JJ Blake just taking some time to recuperate, relax a little bit, gather his breath. Clay Roberts, oh. once again, head oh. scissors. Get back in the ring, Clay. He's in a street fight anymore. There's a wrestling match. Roberts here. Uh oh, Blake. Watch out, Blake. Watch out, Blake. Oh! Baseball slide from Clay Roberts. JJ Blake can't help himself to get back into the ring right now. If Clay Roberts was smart. He'd just allow this official to count out oh, JJ oh, Blake. Oh, hold, here. On, hold on, JJ Blake might be injured here, Matt Polky. He might be hurt. He's saying that his chest is hurt. Say there's chess and hurt. Clay Roberts needs to get out of the way. Oh! Well, there are no timeouts in the reality of wrestling, and I'm sure if you want to, you can lean forward right now. Go ahead, tell oh. JJ that. Oh, no! Well, that's one way to get it done, Matt Topolsky. And now the referee begins his count. If Clay Roberts is counted out right here, JJ Blake is the number one contender. Three. Referee up to a count of three. That's right, Clay, just stay down. Get him next time. Get him next time. Clay Roberts doesn't exactly strike me as the kind of athlete and man that will just get him next time. Live to fight another day. A straight oh. drop kick there from J.J. Blake. That will break the count. And now Blake just rolls Clay Roberts back oh. in the ring and he's smashing his face off the steel and wood on that ring apron. Abram, definitely not the softest part of the squared circle. No doubt about it. Of course, J.J. Blake will bend and break every rule in the book to get an advantage. He doesn't give a damn about that. High bench chops here. into the corner with velocity cover here. J.J. Blake to become number one contender. Kick out of two. A friendly reminder still to come. There is more up for grabs than just this number one contendership. It's Cameron Cole and the mysterious cue for the Texas title. Still to come in our main event. here, Matt Topolsky, picking up Clay Roberts by his beer. Clay Roberts is very athletic. I don't think that we've seen him be able to roll up here. Sunset flip over the top. Clay yes. Roberts, yes. another roll up here. Skull boy, center of the ring. Kick out of two. He's a tremendous athlete. There's no question about it. I'm glad you're finally giving him some credit. But J.J. Blake trying to block it of his own right here. Hold on, though, and he did. What's he going to do? He's going to go for a Blake in. Blake in. Well, through from Clay, hooks the leg. Kick out at two. Clay Roberts showing his tremendous chain wrestling ability. But wait a minute. Almost a modified Blake in right there. Takes a second. Over here. And another kick out. The frustration written all over the face of J.J. Blake right now. You've got to wonder. He's able to get the victory here tonight, looking down the road, and Van Harrison remains television champion. What will J.J. Blake have to do? What new game plan or strategy will he have to come up with to get through the imposing and physically dominating Van Harrison? Right now, he's got to keep his eye on the ball here with Clay Roberts, though. Jumping knee from Clay. Series of reversals once again here. Center of the ring. Oh! Super kick.
to the bread basket. Another knee. Oh, and a short arm clothesline. Clay Roberts, what does he have left in the tank? Neck breaker, Clay springs up. Getting his team back, Matt Topolsky, a second win. Leaping clothesline, J.J. Blake hanging on. Oh! Leaping clothesline, cover, one, two! Almost had him right there. Clay Roberts kicks out again. Well, we know he's tough. We obviously know he's tough in his performance that we saw at the Summer of Champions, but now he's looking for the Black Hammer. He's gonna put his Black Hammer right in his face. Wait a minute, though. Precarious position for Clay Roberts. But once again, finds a way out of it. Look at this small package. He got him. What? Clay Roberts got him. We have a number one contender, and it's not JJ Blake. What? What did we just see? That was an illegal maneuver. Well, perhaps JJ Blake can become the future champion of all ham radios because the number one contendership no. is gone. His TV title is gone. Clay Roberts has risen to the occasion tonight. Booker T presented an opportunity, and he crashes through the front door and grabs it. You left your arm? Ah, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Look, I'm going to advise you, Cam. Don't go out there tonight. You're in no shape to compete. Look, I, I respect your decision, Doctor, but... I'm going out there tonight. I'm going out there. I'm doing this for me. I got to do this. You can do what you want. You're an adult, but I'm telling you, you're in no shape to go out there. Bro Nation, I'm Ashley Bull, backstage here with the former Reality of Wrestling champion, Gino. Now, next week, you'll be back in the ring for the first time since losing the title. And it's against an opponent that you've never had a matchup before in Max Humberto. You see, actually, for the past couple of weeks, I've been inside my own head. I've been thinking, what could I have done different? Why am I not El Campeón anymore? I've got nothing. But you see, they want to send Max Humberto against me. La Familia, you want to send your little prodigy to me? Max. I'm impressed with what have you done. I'm impressed with your trials. I'm impressed with your matches here at Reality Wrestling. But Max, don't think because I'm not a campeon anymore that I am not intocable. Max, in a couple of weeks, you will find out why. For the past three, four, five years, I've dominated the Reality Wrestling. Why? I am not a campeon anymore. But I am El Fino, Divino, Gino, El Intocable. The recklessness of another person can change your life in an instant. And the impact of these decisions can last a lifetime. If you or a loved one have been injured in an automobile crash as the result of someone else's negligence, who will be looking out for you? Walker, Texas Lawyer. Call him now at 713-552-1117 and visit the website, walkertexaslawyer.com. Tonight's episode of The Row is brought to you by Walker, Texas Lawyer at walkertexaslawyer.com. Hilton Furniture, let them have it. Quality Blinds, go to qualityblindsllc.com for free shipping anywhere in the USA. And the king of solar screens, home of the $50 any size solar screen. Welcome back to the Reality of Wrestling. I'm Matt Topolsky alongside Brad Gilmore for The Row. And next week, we have to remind everyone, the former three-time Reality of Wrestling champion, the Lat heartthrob Gino, returns to the Reality of Wrestling for the first time since losing that championship. And...
Coming up next, it's Cameron Cole versus the Mysterious Q for the Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship. I like Q and Cam. We, we talked about the matchup earlier, but I don't think Q is going to try to uh, do anything crazy tonight. I think he's going to play the game like he knows it. He's going to try to retain that Texas Championship. And if we know Cameron Cole the way we do, he is going to be high-flying all over <laughs> yeah. the World Gym Arena. Will we see a new Texas Champion crown here tonight? We go up to the ring to find out. For the Texas Championship. Well, you know, you touched on it at the beginning of the broadcast tonight, Brad. A very unorthodox way in which Cameron Cole became the number one contender for the Reality of Wrestling Texas Championship. Almost pulled a hamstring sprinting out of the World Gym Arena with that contract under his arm. But it doesn't matter how you do it. The only thing that matters is you do it. And that's what Cameron Cole did at Summer Champions. Absolutely, Matt Topolsky. Very odd way that Cam Cole win. But I think the bigger story here, Matt, is the attack that we saw on Cameron Cole a little early on. We saw him get blindsided there in the back. You see his ribs have some kinesiology tape on him to try to relieve some of that some of that injury that he that he suffered, some of the, the maybe potential bruising or breaking of those ribs. And his opponent from parts unknown, weighing in at 240 pounds, he is the Texas champion, Sirius Q. The best of five series that had to go to sudden death overtime. It was Lucha Extrema and Summer of Champions 5, and the Mysterious Q came out the victor over Aiden Cristiano. He faced all the odds. Aiden Cristiano, La Familia, Reina, and other surprises throughout that incredible matchup. It was from pillar to post all over the world, Jim Arena, but in the end, Q became a two-time Texas champion. Absolutely, Matt Topolsky, but I wonder what's going through the mind of Mysterious Q right now. He, just like we all did, saw what happened to Cam Cole. And I'm sure as, as, as much of a fighting champion as he is, he doesn't want to have Cole cash in that number one contender spot in these kind of conditions. Well, it truly is unfortunate that we have a locker room cancer here in reality of wrestling. Yes, I said it. Who is running around attacking people like Cameron Cole. This is a matchup that many in the Row Nation were very much looking forward to. They were looking forward to it because Cameron Cole is one of the great breakout stars in professional wrestling today. And of course, the mysterious Q of the franchise, his resume speaks for itself, but they wanted to see these two do it, both at 100%, and we know that's not gonna happen now. Oh, wow, but look at that. Cam tried to fire up a little bit. Q definitely told him, you know, we don't have to do this tonight. We can wait. Cam Cole was, very, you could say, stubborn or strong-headed, and he definitely wanted to have this match this evening, but I think that's to his detriment, Matt Topolsky. It doesn't matter how hard he fights. You're going against a top-tier athlete, the Mysterious Q, the first Triple Crown winner in this company's history. You have to be 100%. You might have to be 115%. Hayden Cristiano certainly found that out in the seven total encounters the two faced off against each other in as many months, or more months for that matter. Almost the entire calendar year of 2018 has been filled with the feud of Q and Aiden Cristiano, but this is the story of new beginnings and new challenges. And right now, Cameron Cole, despite the fact that he may not be 100% in our main event, has the opportunity of a lifetime here to become only the third Texas champion in the history of this company. Matt Topolsky. Cam Cole's gonna look for any advantage that he can. Lands on the apron outside. Dodges Q in a knee to the side of the head. And dodge that shoulder block into those injured ribs, more importantly. Wait, hold on, though. Something Cameron Cole's gonna have to watch out for here tonight. High, High risk. risk. Oh, misses. Looks like Cameron Cole is a step behind. Great Huracarana, though, by Q. Oh! Into a spinning heel kick. And Cameron Cole sent to the outside. Shades of Lance uh -oh. Storm right Watch there. Watch out, Matt Topolsky. Oh! And Q spills through. Look out! Oh! oh right and a top right here. Through the second rope. 
And hold on, we know what Cameron Cole likes to do. Oh, he He's going for fly. seconds oh. out right here in front of us. Flying senton over the top from the challenger. Injured rips or not, Cameron Cole looking to grab that breast ring here in our main event. Cover here to win the Texas Championship. Q kicking out there. But how much energy did that take out of Cameron Cole? He might have used up his reserves all right there. Oh! Well, I don't think shot. I don't think Cole can afford to pace himself here tonight. He wants to jump all over Mysterious Q. He's putting it all on the line here to win this title. That's why we call him the F-16, defying gravity. He's done it for years. Oh. Face first goes the challenger. Q turning the tables here. And Cameron Cole just exits the ring in severe pain, both from the punishment inflicted already in this matchup, and of course, the hit job here earlier tonight. Springboard over the top cross body to the outside. Q in control as he's sacrificing his own body to defend that title. Wow, I am. <laughs> you know, Mysterious Q, I said at the top of the broadcast, Matt Polsky, I did not think that he wanted to come in here. Cover here from the champion to retain, and a defiant kick out at one and a half. And not give it his all in his first Texas Championship defense. Knife edge chop right there, rings out throughout the world gym arena with the Texas title up for grabs. A title only held by two predominant athletes. Two cornerstones of this company, and Rex Andrews and now Mysterious Q twice. Suplex over the top, lateral press to retain. Another kick out at one. The Mysterious Q performs highly in big match situations. He is undefeated at Summer of Champions, and here's a little stab for you, Matt Topolsky. Every time the Mysterious Q has competed at Summer of Champions, he's won a championship. Big as they get. Mysterious Q, the most accomplished and decorated athlete in reality of wrestling history. Cameron Cole trying to catapult his career with a victory here right now. Cole looking for that slight blade. A move used by both Cole and Q with success very often. And you saw Cameron Cole move his body in the air there, not to expose his ribs on that body splash. But he just tore the tape off of the ribs, Matt Topolsky. I think that's an ill-advised, ill-advised move from Cameron Cole. And once again, high risk. Will he get a high reward for it? And a missile drop kick. Cole to win the Texas Championship. He's three seconds away. Oh, oh my. Man. Another near fall. The match continues. Cameron Cole trying to get the world Jim Arena behind him, trying to get some energy from the crowd. That super kick caught by Q. Uh oh. Looking for Matt Topolsky, as you've coined it before. And F16 on the way. Chris Land, center of the ring, cover to retain the championship. Cole kicks out. But look at him grabbing onto those ribs. He is definitely feeling the effects from that attack that he suffered earlier on this evening. Well, this is truly a battle of attrition here because as Cameron Cole reaches for those ribs, which could be cracked, you can see that the visible frustration for the Mysterious Q, despite the fact that he's wearing a mask, he's frustrated. Cole doesn't know how much longer he's going to hang on. Cameron Cole responding with a flap hurt around the world. Exhibition of athleticism with the Texas Championship hanging in the balance. Cameron Cole and Mysterious Q putting it all up for grabs. Oh, 
Cameron Cole up to his feet first, Matt Topolsky. Q right behind him. And a oh, chip cutter. Oh, good cutter. 